do do. Hey, fellas. We're here with Iron Lung. Can you hear this? Is it moving? Is it working? Hmm, hard to tell. I think so. Pause this. Uh, I'm alone this time. So, yeah. If the game ever stutters, that's probably me clicking another window to move something, but I'm attempting to do this one full screen. Sometimes having a second monitor works, sometimes OBS hates it. Uh, welcome to another sitting of Clean Screams. This is a several months long donation game where any time a horror game can scare me, I owe the donation thingy a thousand dollars. Uh, this time I won't be able to donate immediately because I use PayPal to donate to things and my PayPal is currently locked because I'm transferring too much money to my bank, which is like a nickel and they're like, whoa, thank you anonymous for five dollars. Uh, first successful scare is a thousand dollars. That's how confident I am. If a game manages to scare me once, any additional scare is a hundred dollars. So, I, I am scared of water. Uh, I'm scared of the ocean. So, this game has a good chance. I believe this is also by the brother of the guy who did a neighborhood puppet game that I, I directed. Yeah, all right. Uh, I don't know anything about this. It's supposed to be pretty scary. Decades ago, Every known star and habitable planet vanished, leaving only those who were on space stations or starships. This event became known as the Quiet Rapture. With supplies dwindling and infrastructure crumbling, survivors are searching for any trace of natural resources in a universe of barren moons lit by the ghost light of vanished stars. That's awesome. That's a great setup. Oh, Dragon Rage Lee, thank you for a hundred dollars. One such moon holds a strange anomaly, an ocean of blood. You are a convict tasked with exploring this anomaly in a makeshift submarine named the Iron Lung. It was not designed for this depth, so you will be welded inside and the forward window will be closed. There was no time for training. If successful, you earn your freedom. Beginning at descent. Cruising depth in roughly 40 seconds. Stand by. Um, I'm seeing some voltage irregularities in the instruments, so keep an eye out for sparks or flames or anything like that. <laughs> Can I, am I supposed to be able to move yet? Approaching maximum depth. Uh, the hole's feeling it, but it's still holding strong. Closing porthole shielding. No. Oh. We're starting to lose radio signal. You'll be at cruise depth soon, so repeat thing and be careful. You're on your own. Good. Game window is skewed. Oh, hello. Let me uh No, I don't wanna don't wanna do that. <sighs> ah, okay, I see. I know what happened. Fit to screen. That should be fixed. Thanks for the five dollars. Quit the game? No. Okay. Move. Interact. Tab is map. Whoa. Oh, that's bigger than I expected. Ah, oh, man. Two weeks ago, we conducted an exploration of Moon AT5 for the first time since the Quiet Rapture, leading to the discovery of a fourth blood ocean. Interesting. A trench beneath the ocean surface has several points of interest. Your task is to photograph these points of interest with the SM-13's forward camera. Photos must be taken within two units of the specified position and ten degrees of the specified angle. You can also use the camera to help with navigation. Only photos taken at the specified points of interest will be saved. Since you can't navigate by sight, pay attention to your coordinates and consult the map. The proximity indicators next to the sub-controls will trigger if you're getting close to an obstacle. Good luck. That sounds hard. Uh, 
That sounds hard. Ga oh, the sensitivity is really high. Can I? Nope. Can I not adjust that anymore? All right. Looks like we're going to be a sensitive boy. Oh, jeez. All right. What is this? Okay, this is my depth. Interesting. And I have an oxygen meter. And here's a map. I don't know where I am. Ah, okay. X. I'm probably like here, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's uh let's go. Let's go this way. Okay, so it doesn't stop immediately when you press it, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I need to get to like two hundred. What's this? Is this my camera? Ooh. All right. This is a uh, this is rough. Got like no tools. Thank you, Crump, for twenty dollars. Yeah. So how do I use my Z coordinate? How do I go up or down in depth? All right. Yeah, we're at two hundo, so let's go to a little over three hundo in the y-axis. Is that this? No. How do you how do you adjust the y the uh, x-axis? What do I do? You don't go up and down. You don't. It's two dimensional. Oh. The arrow shows where you're facing on the map and moves you forward. I don't think I understand. Oh, that's not good that I can pick that up. Okay. You turn and go forwards or backwards. You're on a 2D grid. Well, then what's the... Oh, well, now it's moving. Why is it moving? Arrow is your ship from a top down view. All right, let's spin. Hmm. Oh, I see. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. I I get it now. I'm sorry. I I don't like that at all. No, no. Get to ninety. Or like close to it. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, there's a little, there's a little guy. That's all right. I'm sure we'll be fine. Whoa, fifty pounds from CL uh, XIX. I'm really not good at Roman numerals. They were like, you've heard of tank controls. Now it's time for sub controls. No, nope. there's a leak. Okay, so we're at like here now, right? 300, so, uh, okay. Let's turn this way a little bit. And I should hear beeps, right? When I get close to this thing? Thanks, Sonic Cycle, for $20. Let's take a look. Okay, this is something. Hmm. Hmm. 318. Oh, oh, okay, that's great. Cool, cool, cool. Angle 33, 322. Almost there. 
What was the why? Oh, no. Okay, we're not even close to that. Which way do I have to go to up the Y? Is it this? Yeah. Okay, that's 322. Oh, this is really strange. Oh, somebody's beeping at me. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Thanks for the five dollars. What is this now? That's pretty close. That's pretty close. So now if I'm at if I'm at angle 30, I should be able to get it, right? Whoa, too fast. Thirty-three, right? So it should be this. Give me a spooky. Okay. Did I get that? Was that right? How do I tell if I did it right? What's this? This is not an expedition, it's an execution. When they put you in here, they don't want you to return. And even if you do, what freedom awaits for you? A few dying ships in a sea of dead stars? There is still hope. It lies beyond the veil. Check the map. Oh, okay. Great. Thank you. Um, hope in this world is illusory as, the, as, as illusionary as the starlight. I will choose to breathe my last here at the bottom of the ocean, unseen, unheard, and uncontrolled. They will get their execution, and I will get my freedom. All right, man. Can I move this? Nope, that's there now. Uh, doesn't look like I got it, right? Okay. Nope. Thank you for the twenty dollar donation. <laughs> I feel like this is Am I crazy? That's pretty close, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Uh, see, to me, that's the same photo, but all right. Let's go to the next guy. <laughs> getting executed. But at least I got a little game while I'm getting executed. Let's go to about 260. We can angle ourselves this way just a little bit. 260. 260 How do you tell where you are you guess 260 260 <laughs> 260 All right Mhm mm what's this 263 Someone's knocking on my submarine. I got places to be, though. What's the angle on this guy? I guess it doesn't matter yet, does it? Um, 378. Stop at 90. Be sure to check for fires and leaks. I don't know how to do that. and flare. I'm here to do a job. I don't got time for fires and or leaks. I already forgot. 378. I'm not good at remembering basic information, so this is not the type of game I'm going to be any good at at all. Alright, there's our guy. Got that. 263, so just scoot us up just a tiny, tiny bit. That was pretty good. Yeah. Okay. For clarity, what counts as a scare? Something that scares me. Yeah, that should be 
pretty good. Okay, some kind of coral guy. Cool. Works for me. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can get through here. We slide in. Let's go about yay far. On the way, beep and boop boo, on the way, beep and boop boo. <laughs> Everybody's Oh, there's a bloop. What's that on the bloop? Everybody's talking at me. There's a big jellyfish tentacle. But I'm inside old iron lung, so it's okay. Are you actually trying to get scared? I mean, yeah, a little bit. Feels kind of shitty of me to do a charity event and be like, I don't eat when I get scared. And then I don't even get scared. Like, what's the point? What am I going for? Okay. X is going down, right? Perfect. Oxygen notification. Okay. Oh, am I just on a timer? That's gonna be hard. If I die from oxygen, I'm probably not gonna try the game a second time. That sounds really boring. <laughs> That's kind of my big problem with horror games, is I'm really impatient. Like, if you got something, I just want you to show it to me. Thanks, Anonymous, for the money dollars. How many money dollars? Twenty dollars. Something spooky happening out there. Stop calling, darling. Let me put your lips to something. Let me wrap your teeth around the world. Saving? Why are you saving? Is something sp Oh, that's actually great that there's save points. I didn't even consider that. I thought this was like a one and done run kind of game. Okay, I might try it a little harder then. 406, got it. Hey, how are we looking? Yeah, that should be fine, right? And then you want... 259. 259? Yeah. Nope, 296. Hey, guess who has a dyscalculia, gang, and says wrong numbers when I mean different numbers? A beep. Yeah, some kind of tentacle boy? I'm not close enough to the tentacle boy. Why am I not close enough? I'm pretty fucking close to the tentacle boy. I'm gonna be honest here. Sir, I think that tentacle boy owes me a dollar. <laughs> Come on. What is talking at me? Beetlejuice worms, yeah. I don't hear what they're saying. Only the echoes of my mind. It was like 195 or something, right? 96? Come on, Beetlejuice worms. Is that good enough? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, Beetlejuice Worms. Which faster? I'm just gonna go this way. So, when they say blood ocean, does that mean it's just red? <laughs> or is it literally blood? No, it's blood? Okay. Do, do. 
do 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 Let me wrap my teeth Oh, hang on. Okay, now we're at 300x. Okay, yeah, I'm not even close yet. I gotta get out of here. What am I looking for? Like, uh, like three, three fifty x. It's gonna be a while. This is a vampire's dream. I used to fantasize at length when I was a little kid about like a lake of soda and like the logistics of that and how gross it would be. But like, if there was a way to make it not gross, you know, for soda consumption, very like kids next door energy thought. Okay. Uh, and we're at what? X, Y, Z. Oh, so, yeah, so we're like here. So let's turn. Yeah, I used to fantasize about a lake of blood. No, I don't like the taste of blood. I, I had some really stubborn molars when I was a kid, and they would just bleed constantly, and I'd wake up with mouthfuls of blood. Oh, that reminds me. I actually have a ton of blood on my leg right now. I had a wound, and it just bled a bunch and dried, and I didn't, uh, I didn't do anything about that. I haven't cleaned it up yet. Um, whoops. And then, I actually, that didn't hurt at all, but then I kneeled on a, um, a candy cane shard. And it hurts so bad. Whoa, what's that? Hmm, I think we're okay. What's that hissing noise? Is that like... Is that problems? That's a leak? Oh, hello. What do I do about this? How do I... How do I stop that from happening? What do I do? Mm. Oh, you can't fix it. Okay, great. Well, then who cares? All right, I'll stick my... You guys can't really tell, but I'm sticking my ass in there. Where am I going? Oh, man, okay. Got a ways to go, Jesus. What was that, 550, 260 or something? 560, 280, more or less. No, nope, it's still too far this way. Sorry I can't really look at, um, chat. There's spooky happening. I can't look at chat because I'm on a scary timer. I guess I should probably take a picture, right? If there's spooky noises, right? What's on the spooky? Oh, it doesn't give a shit. Okay. 260, yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, sh shit. Hmm, there's nothing there, which means that's a, a blood ghost. <laughs> Gotta watch out for those. Oh, crap. I'm at, like, the exact right position on one axis, but not on the other. This is... <laughs> Honk. Okay, what am I looking at? 260. Mm hmm, that's perfect. I question why they would le let a previous prisoner leave a message in here, you know? It just doesn't seem very conducive to executing people. I guess if they want to freak you out. What do you guys think my space crime was? 
probably like stealing resources, right? If you're in like a resource barren space world. Beep. Spooky thing. Yeah, there's a there's a fish. Did I get it? Nice. What are we going to next? Two. Uh, nope. That's a six. Jesus Christ. Six thirteen. Almost home stuck number. Then a little less than two hundred. Okay. Oh, we're like almost there actually. A little let. Wait, a little less than two hundred. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. If you guys were arrested for space crimes, what space crime would you be arrested for? Hmm. Space jacking off? I mean, I guess if you climax in space, it's a problem for everybody. I go, like, in and out of having a good understanding. Someone's knocking on my fucking ship. Leave me alone. I'm welded in here. What do you want me to do? Oh, I'm saving. There's a spooky thing happening. That's a good noise. Okay, almost... 13... Yeah, it's pretty close. And then I want to go up, right? Wow, I got it exactly. Look at that. Ooh. Somebody dripping at me. It's me. It's the drip boy. <laughs> Come on. There you go. What's the angle on this guy? 55. Whoa. Turn so fast. <laughs> Something spooky. Oh, cool. Photograph the complete skeleton. All right, so that's a big old bones, big old spooky bones. Okay. Um, let's just uh, let's just go. This appears to be more or less the right angle. Let's just go. Honey, I, we all live in a rusty submarine, a rusty submarine, a rusty submarine, and we sail beneath the waves with our blood type, a B for days. This next point is far away, is far away! I believe you can search lore on that console. Bro, I don't got time to search lore. I'm in a spooky submarine. Okay, we're at 700, 700. Up here, 250. Yeah, I would say change the angle a little bit. Like, yeah, like there. Bloopy boys. I'll search lore later, guys. I'm trying to earn my freedom. Let me tell you, I got a really good chance at earning my freedom. All right, all right, all right. Quit blinking at me. I don't want that noise while I figure out where I am. Oh, all right, I'm like almost there. 750, it's like a little under 260, like 260? Oh, I'm, I'm almost there. Okay, so. Shush, 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 shush. You're okay. You're fine, man. Okay, now we're gonna go this way. That's what Amy's stomach sounds like. Amy got a rumbly stomach. 750. Yeah, okay, sure. 
Oh, can I use this guy for navigation? I can, right? Okay, I don't really know what's going on. Hmm, 260 seems a little high. We should probably get away from that just a little bit. Oh, yep, okay, I know where I am now. Now I was little, I, um, based on a nightmare I had, I wanted to do like a, I feel like I'm gonna crash into something. I'm doing okay. No, the bottom one's blinking more, so. Nice. Yo, I'm amazing at this. Let's go. Uh, okay, when I get to 25300. That two, why do I keep saying 2? 850. I'd be the worst navigator. I'd get us all killed. My dad was an air traffic controller. I could not join the family business. I think two of my uncles were air traffic controllers too. Quit beeping at me. You don't know me. You don't know my fucking life. Eight fifty three hundred. So I'm at this dot. Let's go. Ba da ba da ba 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 da da do 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 do. We're going down now to this location. And when we're here, it's 864 and then 250 some, 280 something, do 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 do, wait, 860? Yeah, okay. Eight sixty four. Yeah, we're, we're there, baby. Let's just go dead south. Dead south is the name of my stupid horror game. It's about the south. Mm -hmm. Oh, some beepy boys happening. Someone is doing a little chitter dance outside my ship. Who's chittering out there? Stop it. Get some help. Turning. Blood dolphins. And what was the angle they wanted? 209? Whoa! I don't think we've looked that way before. This is a great day in the Iron Lung. Let's see our new friend. What you got? Oh, it's like a city. That's cool. It's like a, those are some windows. This feels like a good spooky place to take extra photos, right? See what else is around. Is there a version of this game where like after you beat it, you can look around? Okay, they got like tentacles, that's fine. Blood City Ocean. It's the sequel to Card City Nights. Get to do that. Oh. Okay. Yeah, let's go back to that nice point at uh, 850, 850, 300. That's easy to remember. Oh. There we are. All right, so we're here. So let's just go. Here. That should get us for a while. If I played Inscription, no, people keep telling me to. I'm making my way. 
What's your blood type, gang? Mine is A negative, as in a negative person. Which is true. Hmm. I should go south here. O negative, rough. You don't know? You should know your blood type. Mine is boring like AB. That's the best type to have. AB is the spicy type. That's the rare one. That means you can eat anyone else's blood. And that's exactly what it means. This bitch is beeping. Fine, shut up. I'll go up. I, all right, all right. Let's take another picture. It's just a bunch of tentacles. Mm -hmm. Oh! I bet that's a spooky thing. Let's turn around and take a picture of it. Spooky thing inside the sea. No, it's just like a wall. Walls aren't spooky. Ha he hoo he. Wild that you can sell your blood in the US. I mean, it makes sense. You can't do that everywhere? I don't think that's, like you can give away your blood, but like I think it, no, well, stop, don't do that. I think it makes sense that you can sell your blood. There's a lot of problems with the American medical system. I don't think that's one of them. Yeah, wilder that they have to sell their blood. I'm glad it's an option, because you always have blood, usually. Whoa! Do we bump? That, that did give me a bit of a jump. Is that a scare? Like I didn't physically move. The what the the vocal whoa, that was me playing it up. But like I did I did go, ah. It's a shortcut. Okay. Uh we're at like X to 80, so like here. Three. Oh, that's not where I thought I was. Okay. Great. That's nice. That's super not where I thought I was. That's weird. Huh, okay. In fact, it wasn't where you were. Oh, I got teleported? Is there no blood ocean? Is this all just a silly little facade to watch a funny guy like me press buttons? That's what I do in my day job anyway. Got bonked. All right, all right, stop beeping. They're fucking still beeping. For sudden jump, I'd say ten dollars. That was pretty close. Like, I'll be honest, it's it's doing an okay job making me like I'm very ready to be scared. Open the porthole, it'll be Detroit outside. Okay. We're getting there. Mm -hmm. I'm right I'm here to play. I'll get if you scare me, I'll be scared. Whoa! That's gotta be no, oh come on, that was a spooky. See, now I'm just disappointed. Like, I I guess I'm not afraid of the concept of there being something in the ocean. Does, does that make sense? Like, there should be something in the ocean. It would be weirder if I were in, like, a man-made sea. Which, like, maybe I am. I don't know the lore. 
600. I'm pretty close. Yeah, you can make a good short film out of this. It'd be pretty easy. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh my god. Oh no. That's gonna suck. I don't wanna do those. <sighs> what happens if I go back up? Do they just kill me? I know I don't have control over that, but like, what do you think they do? Okay. Somebody's over there. So let's. Let's not. Let's not go that way for a second. Hmm. That noise. I, I gotta say, the beeps really piss me off. lot of streamers or uh, no we have one streamer we have a lot of viewers um i'm happy you guys are here and you're donating an, an incredible amount i have to ask though like this game seems popular with streamers can i ask why it seems very boring to watch like i don't feel like there's a lot i'm doing here to enhance the experience the thumbnail helps, really? Okay. Which part of it? <laughs> Going down. Okay. 63. Very patient type of horror game. Yeah, let's see. How about some horror? Come on, guys, we got 400 people in chat. Scare them. This is just more bones. Like, I bet there's some fun shit if you go into these really hard to get to areas, but like, like I don't want to, you know? All right. Let's see. Like, I would have a lot of fun, like, just looking around if. I could see the world around me. I assume it's like rendered in this dither effect. That'd be kind of cool. To be honest, it only gets spooky around the near end. Okay. Like, I'm. Uh, let's get to 525 or so. 510. It doesn't matter. And 400. Going to 400. Ugh, 200 away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shush, shush, shush. Thank you, Anonymous, for the $10. So, how about now? Something spooky? It's just nothing. Yeah, it's, it's unsettling. I'm unsettled. Nope, oh, there it goes. Alright. Filling the dead air with blood and cum talk. That's all I do, baby. Too cool to be scared. I'm not too cool to be scared. I just horror is so constructed. And I'm very good. I like I'm not very smart or clever. My my talent is noticing like pattern recognition and being good at figuring out like what makes something and like what the patterns of like like an author's writing patterns or a genre's writing patterns. And I, I don't think there's any more clear than horror. All right, well, I can't do anything. I'm gonna guess those are completely scripted, to be honest. Okay, we're at like, what, 400? 
400, and where are we at? Five? So we're like right here. So let's go up this way. So like with horror, I don't know, it's too easy for me to see like the seams of a horror game. And I, I find that I get really annoyed if I'm realizing like, if I'm figuring out the magic and how you tricked me into like being unsettled, especially if you don't deliver on it. Okay, yeah, I'm about there. That's about right, right? Mm, I could be a little further to the left. Okay. I did just save. It would be kind of funny to just crash and die. This appears to be the only way I can go. Oh, I don't have to go through here, do I? Show me here. What am I looking at? That looks like a fucking wall. Right the first time. What's the. F Where am I? 400, 550, 400. Oh, okay. I'm too far. I'm, I gotta go this way first. Nobody beep at me. Stop beeping. I'm confused by this. That kind of looks like I could go through there. Can I go through there? Where am I now? I know it would defeat the point of the game, but I would kind of love if this game aren't those trees. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, 50, I'm up here. Oh, okay. All right. Um, okay, so now I gotta go like this way. You didn't miss anything. The game the game looks like this. This is what the game looks like. Well, see, now here I am. I think it's a cave. You would love this game if what? If it had sheep girls in it? Yeah, obviously. Guys, should I crash the, crash the sub for the meme? Yes, no. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it auto-saved pretty recently. Finish your thoughts. I don't remember what I was saying. I don't feel like I can get through here. It's beeping no matter... Okay, let's try... If I tilt further this way. Bitch is still beeping. It's a tight corridor. Okay. Here's a fun fact. Maybe... Don't make me go through here. Am I done? Am I done being here? Okay, fine. Do you consider yourself a furry? No. If it's if it's got a snout, I'm out, is what I say. I'm into anthro girls and boys. Like if it's got a tail and ears, that's cute. But um, more than that, I'm not into it. Um, okay. I like, I like any animal person with like a big tail. So like squirrel, fox, skunk, arctic fox especially. And I like anything fluffy. The amount of poof in the, there's something on fire isn't there. Shut up, I'm talking about fucking animals. <laughs> Ow. Man, this is rough. Mm -hmm. It's 
kind of nice to have light back here. That shouldn't be my thought, should it? Oz, get out of here. You would come in right when I say that and nothing else. Yellow reacts to fire. I mean, you guys told me there'd be fire. You told me there was a. There's like four things to interact with in the sub, and one of them's a fire extinguisher. So obviously, I'm gonna have to extinguish some fire eventually. <laughs> I find that I also have a really hard time not suspending my disbelief with horror, but like, I guess it is suspending my disbelief. I have a hard time forgetting I'm engaging with like a game and I'm just like, this isn't affecting me. Like this doesn't matter. I have chronic anxiety, like, Nothing that a game could do is worse than the random shit my brain will make me think about situations. Uh, about. Don't forget to read up in the fire extinguisher more. <laughs> That's funny. Where am I even going? Oh, I'm pretty much there. Uh, 320... 40. Yeah, that'll work. What are we looking at? Gamers, 41. Damn, yeah, pretty close. Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. That should be fine. 18 degrees. Click. I don't know what that is. All right. Listen, the man wants photos of that. <laughs> so So my question is who does this execution benefit? Like if you want to execute me, just shoot me. And if you want photos of the like how did you get what do you have sonar readings? How did they get this detailed information of the ocean floor to the degree where they need me to go down? Like, I know they don't care about my well-being, I get that. But even then, like, even for them, is the effort of punking me in a submarine really worth this? You know? Not to critique. <laughs> You'll learn soon enough. Ooh. Young grasshopper. Young grasshooper. Okay. What is that from? I think that's just something Aram said once that I thought was funny. Where am I at vertically? I'm like right here. So yeah, just uh, go a little bit over. 270 is like the opposite of 40 of 90 degrees right yeah yeah probably cheaper than a drone no way bro oxygen is a limited resource right don't give it to me at least i'm not driving with a game controller Oh, that's a submarine joke. Uh huh. Lear's still beeping. Let's take a look at this place. What's up? Nothing. Nothing's ever up. The light is beeping. It do be beeping, though. Okay, so I must be past that now. Where am I at? God, I hate that noise. 660, so I'm like here. 
Oh, that wasn't even in the game. <laughs> there was like a... There was a car screech in my parking garage, and I thought it was like a horse neighing. I was like, that's such a weird noise to put in the underwater. Okay, where do I want to be? 250 to 200. Okay. Now I gotta listen to beeps. The worst game I've ever played. These are fun noises. What are we, what's going on? Anything fun? No, just nothing. <sighs> Sorry, where am I trying to reach? I'm actually pretty close. This bitch is beeping. Okay, that should be safe enough. You know, if at one point they have like a guy behind me, like I turn around and there's a guy, that'll scare me. I'm not expecting a guy in the sub. Whoa! It's another leak! That did, again, kind of make me jump. But, like, not in a way where I'm scared of it four seconds after it happening. So, does that count? Not really. Where am I trying to go? Oh, it's wiggling. Why are you wiggling? <laughs> Ooh, a sparkle! Bro, I gotta check out this sparkle. <laughs> this looks not good, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> what is, what's up? Oh, I'm actually like right there, great. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I mean, this is terrifying. Uh... What's up? Is this like nuclear radiation that's like affecting my ship and that's what's killing me? Photograph the anomaly. All right, let's get out of here. Thank you, Benjamin Chapman, for donating $20. Jello is delirious. No, it's just, I don't know. I find humor and stuff really easily. Let's leave. Is the anomaly like see uh, my ship's wiggling it's not wiggling as much anymore but it was wiggling you all saw it i'm not crazy i've got a wiggle ship if you put your ear to did you just teleport me that'd be awesome actually uh 270 oh thank you now i'm like here if you <laughs> they say if you put your ear to the iron lung you can hear it Fruit salad, do, do, do. yummy, yummy. Two seventies. I'm like over here now. That's great. I really appreciate that. It makes navigating so much faster. Like I couldn't possibly be scared of something teleporting my ship when it's so convenient. How would I actually react in this situation? Exactly the way I'd be doing this now. I'd probably be breathing and talking way less. Like I'd be breathing very slowly. If you're ever in a low oxygen situation, you wanna, you wanna breathe like deep but slow, right? Like shallow breathing's worse. I've never been in a situation, so I wouldn't know. Okay. Mm, let's do like, it's like 700, 700, 500. That's pretty easy to remember. <laughs> I have never been in a blood ocean. That's fucking true. 
I'm I'm the kind of guy who's more scared about the possibility of something. The instant something happens, I like accept it and move forward. So like I'm scared of heights, but only up to like 40 feet in the air. After that, it's like if I fall, I'm dead. Like that like I'm not scared of falling out of an airplane. I am scared of falling off of a roof. Does that make a difference? Because like if you fall out of an airplane, you're you're just fucked. Like like you you're just gonna have like four minutes to contemplate as you fall. But if you fall off a roof, you might live, but you might live badly. Oh, uh, picker. Did I get it? Show me the spooky. Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, am I not supposed to be excited to see something happen? <laughs> Fruit salad, doo doo doo, yummy yummy. Fruit salad, doo doo doo, yummy yummy. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Five hundred, seven hundred. Yummy yummy, doo doo doo. Jill, look out for the horrors. I'm. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you're out grocery shopping? and you encounter the horrors. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, I thought this was the, a nice neighborhood. And then I encountered the horrors. Yeah, I know. I know I'm almost dead because what else would be happening at this point in the game? Okay, Y coordinate 700, 700, 550. Okay, I can start going this way. Do you think that fish bumped into me on purpose? Like, was it just looking and you think it bumped? Or do you think it was like checking to see what I do? Or do you think it's trying to eat me and it just sucks bad? Cast your votes. Oh, there's blood. I didn't even see that. Yeah, I'm, um, there's blood in the, I'm dying. Sorry. <laughs> Supposed to be more scared. <laughs> Is that getting higher? Ambi yeah, yeah, that's getting higher. Okay. Okay, I need to get to 75. Oh! That'll be so cool! If it covers the thing and I can't see where I am? I gotta go. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I think I'm gonna die. I'm gonna have to remember it. Chat, you guys are gonna have to help me. 275, 828. 8, Jesus. What was the angle? 295. Two eight, Jesus. That's so much. All right, all right, I get it. There's blood. Calm, calm down. Eight twenty eight. All right, there we are. Eight twenty eight. Uh, gotta go back to seventy five, which is over this way. Okay, good. It's not actually going to cover my console. It's just a fake out. Good. And then... 290... 295. And then what's going to happen? An anomaly? Let's see what's out there. Okay. Did I get it? Nope. <laughs> oh, 220... Uh, wait, hang on. Man, it's a good thing this game is nice to you. Otherwise, like, shit, I super was being an idiot there. Okay. And then it's that, right? It's that thing that's blinking now. 295. 295. Hey, Aloha. Hmm. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! 
All right. No, that does not get a thousand dollars. <laughs> the expedition ultimately raised more questions than answers. Satellite images showed pieces of the SM-13 scattered all over the bottom of the trench, as though it had been torn apart by some huge beast. The wreckage cannot be reached at this time. No photographs have been recovered. The stars shine as pale as bones. The moon is a lifeless corpse, its ocean a gaping wound. The universe, what's left of it, is dying. But somewhere in the void, there must be hope. What? Why would you say that? I don't think so. If all planets and stars disappear, I think you're... I did it. I finished the game. That was just a big fish. All right, I hear there's cheats. Can I... What's the cheat to look around? Is there a cheat to look around? Jell, you gotta read the lore now. You're right, let's read the lore. You should play again all the way through. I don't wanna. Jello, literally you just told me that you found being digested by a big monster a scary concept. No, I didn't. Someone else said that. Oh, this is a terminal. Be sure to update before each descent. Query. Hey gang, what am I supposed to do? S SM... SM-13. Body. One of four in-service underwater crafts fashioned by the Koi for use in conviction realization in the blood oceans. It is designed for deep liquid photography and analysis. It's not designed very well. Redacted. All rumors of the SM-13 and similar crafts being used for so-called mob justice by the way of force suffocation or otherwise have been proven false. That's a weird thing to include in your Wikipedia entry. Now you can see. Awesome. Let's take a look. Oh, it's like flat. All right, let's, let's look around. Okay. I wish I could, like, crouch and look. Let's find out what happens if we crash. Redacted. It's just very funny, the idea that they'd be like... <laughs> okay, so if you ever take a photograph of that fast enough, it's just... It just pops up there. That's a little lame. Sure, all right. I'll take a picture of it so it can be spooky. And it can disappear. All right, calm down. So where does the blood come from? <laughs> yeah, crash. What happens? Okay. There be more useful cheats. Okay. The yellow highlighted words are queryable. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I didn't realize I had loaded in. What was it? CM13? What was the name of the thing? I'm sorry. Koi? Okay, there we go. Consolidation of Iron. Brotherhood of three space stations and two spacecrafts founded on the principle of collectivism, ruled by the popular vote of all citizens, numbering some number at the time of the century. Its name comes from the iron and steel materials its two main stations are constructed from. Lame. And the principle of unity and togetherness in the face of menace from other surrounding stations, such as Eden. Eden. Body. Space Station Eden is the largest man-made structure that still exists in the wake of the Quiet Rapture. 
It was formerly the main station for Mars, and the population still maintained a strong sense of Martian patriotism and independence, um, making them a constant threat to the sanctity and security of the Koi. It has current population of 468. Oh, that's like nothing. It has the only known remaining trees in its interior garden. Eden, a threat to all collective well beings. Filament station. Filament station was the fourth and largest spe you know what? Hang on, I'm being rude. I'm being really rude right now. No, I'm not trying to quit the game. I'm trying to You know who I bet wants to know about this? Hang on. Now we can both read it. Um, right, filament station. Breach left filament to oh, filament station was the fourth and largest space station in the Koi until EIC, when tensions between Koi and E interrupted on a nine-day battle on the station conflict battle. The conflict battle? Pick one or the other. You don't say both. The conflict, or battle, ended unresolved when Eden troops resorted to sabotaging the ship's re reactor. Is that supposed to be reactor? I think that's supposed to be reactor, and they spelled it reactor. Um, the breach left filament station uninhabitable due to high levels of radiation, and it has sat empty since. Prisoners taken during the conflict have been undergoing conviction realization in the years since. Final ones. Uh, how about reactor? No, okay. Yeah, I see. Is this like the new AD, BC? Epoch of interplanetary colonization. Or ik is an interstellar calendar. I You're spelling like so many words wrong. That's not how you spell calendar, right? Isn't it? Isn't it Kalen? Isn't it calendar like this? It's definitely calendar. Okay. AD. Oh, 1992. That's how you spell calendar in space. British spelling? No, it isn't. Also, these guys aren't British. It was and is the predominant calendar used throughout the known galaxy before the quiet rapture. Many debated switching over to a more standardized measurement for, of years. IMC, or Interstellar Martian Calendar, was especially popular owing to the large population residing on Mars after the Quiet Rapture, blah, 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 blah. Jesus, IMC. Unknown query. Did I type it wrong? Yeah, I must have. Interstellar Martian Calendar, is there anything interesting here? Not really, it's just a Martian calendar. Had any prior warning, radio contact with our respective planets was suddenly cut. Nobody can recall having visual contact with any planets when the incident occurred or experiencing any other unusual phenomena. So it's uncertain what exactly might have happened. That's crazy. Upon Did you know that actually this every planet will disappear if nobody's looking at it? But we're always... They unload like in a Mar N64 game where if you're not looking at it, then to save RAM, the universe unloads planets. <laughs> Um, yeah. Further investigation over the... F it was observed independently by several stations that where there had previously been planets, nothing remained. Further investigation over the following months revealed that all known planets with sentient life, blah, 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 were likewise gone. Along with all known stars, the only bodies that have been found since are uninhabitable moons or asteroids. You wouldn't call them moons. They wouldn't be orbiting anything, right? Why would it delete... Why would it delete, a, like... There are moons that are larger than planets. Many theories have been proposed for this disaster, including religious interpretations of it as a literal rapture, some unknown quantum anomaly that means nothing, or something more cosmic and sinister. There are no concrete answers yet. Okay, um... Or some other ones. I'm just... Mars. Mars... The fourth planet from the sun, the site of the first off-Earth colony in 
1992. Why is it 1992? Mars was the most popular uh, populated planet in the solar system before the Quiet Rapture surpassed Earth this year. Now all that remains of Mars is former glory. Why is Earth not searchable? Moon. Blood. My fish friend. SM8. Whoa! What is this? Hopefully they don't redact this before updating the database. What most people understand is that not all subs are built equal. I don't... Does anyone go around thinking all subs are built to the same standards? Blood Oceans is searchable? Okay. The SM8 isn't a burner sub. It really is for exploring and surveying blood oceans. If they send you down in the iron lung, they don't give a fuck if you come back or if the sub comes back because it's a pile of garbage and you're a piece of shit. You come back with photos, great. You sit down there and suffocate quietly, even better. But if they send the SM8 down, one of the scientists is piloting and they all expect them to return. And now, the SM8 is in the blood ocean in pieces. No, not hit a rock pieces or sprung a leak pieces. It looks like something tore it up. And the weirdest thing is that nobody else seems surprised. We might have found the first planetary life since the rapture and they're acting like it's no big deal. I know you're next in line for realization in the Iron Lung, and usually that means you won't be seeing the stars again, but they don't have an SM8 anymore. They have three burner subs and a lot of curiosity about AT5. And maybe that means you have a chance. AT5, what is that? Okay. An unexplained phenomenon. Jello, recent events have proven that not all subs are made equally. That's true. An unexplained phenomenon that has been identified on four separate moons since the Quiet Rapture. Moon AT5, Moon Z8 are the most notable locations. They're under control of us. Although research has been conducted on the blood itself to determine that it is indeed human blood. That's dumber, right? Isn't it more interesting if it's not human blood? But we have not discovered where it comes from or how it keeps its liquid form. The ocean on AT5 is of particular incidence because nothing. Uh, okay. Um, what was that? Sorry, what was that? Filament station. Uh, koi. Koi. What was the... Damn, this game is kind of bad, ain't it? I wouldn't call it bad. I think it's fine. Um, I don't think it's scary. I mean, I think it's neat if whatever got everybody, whatever got everybody spit out their blood like a reverse owl. That's funny. Z8. No, sorry. Um, there was, what's the rehabilitation, realization or something? What's that called? Convict realization. Nope. Um... Conviction. Conviction realization. There we go. Humane form of criminal justice where crimes are repaid by rendering service to the general collective. Often this is by performing surveys, maintenance, or other similarly beneficial tasks. Redacted. Look up. Big fish. Life. Universe. Moon. Um, okay. So, real quick. Let's, um, let me get rid of this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm down. So, type in a swear. It's funny. Poop. Please consider your language and attitude before interacting. Uh, thank you. All right. Stop making the noise. I'm... So, you know what? Yeah. Um, okay, I would not call this bad. Uh, first of all, it's $8 and it's a fine experience. Uh, I think this, 
honestly, I like how this game handles its lore better than something like FNAF, uh, FNAF or the entire mascot horror genre. All right, literally the bar could not be lower than that. Like that's literally the worst lore in the world because there is no lore in that. Um, my problem with this game is the idea of not only one planet straight up disappearing is awesome, uh, but the idea of all celestial bodies that can sustain life disappearing and stars disappearing is so cool, but I gotta be honest, it kinda doesn't seem like they thought about more than that when, when David made this, because it's like, hey, if you don't have a body to orbit around celestially, like, your space station won't be orbiting something. So it's not going to be in a specific area, right? So it's a little silly that there's, like, interspace station colony conflict because they wouldn't be near each other. They'd both be on different trajectories and they would just fly off to the into the distance. I love the idea of hypothetically all stars being deleted, but starlight takes so long to travel that you won't know for eons until these stars are dead. That's really cool. Um, like... The idea of, like, how would you get by with no light? Uh, like, first of all, we shouldn't be able to see fucking anything. There should be no light anywhere. That's cool. Um, I don't think any of the lore was in the game when it was first posted. Well, that's lame. <laughs> Thank you for not finishing the game. I did finish the game. That was the end. You take a picture of... I mean, maybe there's a secret second ending, but that was the ending. Um... I'm a little disappointed the thing that eats you is just a fish? Like, that's kind of lame. Um, I wanted it after- I wanted it to be like, you know, like, maybe not aliens, but I like the idea of it just being anomalies. About half the lore was in the game when it came out. Yeah. The idea of you being a forced prisoner doing this is cool. I just- I don't want to dunk on David Szymanski, because he and his brother are very nice. Like, I've literally worked with them. David wrote most of the script for uh, My Friendly Neighborhood, as far as I know. But I also, like, saw work-in-progress versions of the script. And it was it was kind of like fly by the seat of your pants. Like, here's some ideas. And it didn't really, like, get more worked out than that. And I think it worked pretty well in that game, because, like, you don't need to know why the puppets are alive. That's fine. There's, like, sort of a theme. It works well enough. You know, it worked just fine. Um, but, like, this game, there's not enough dialogue for there to be any typos. The fact that we found, like, three or four, that's bad. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. You gotta use a spell checker, my guy. And, like, there were typos when I was going over his script before it was done, too. And, like, obviously that's just a human thing. But, like, you know, it's, it's a published game. It's been out for a while. Fix those typos. Um... This was fine. I'm really sad it was a fish. Like, I'm gonna be honest. Had I turned around and there was, like, a, a glowing anomaly shaped, like, vaguely humanoid, but maybe, like, part of it was wrong, like, its arms were too long, or it had, like, a big, long neck, or, like, maybe no head, and the neck just goes off to a point, and then it reaches out and the screen deletes, that would be cool, because then you'd be, like... Whoa, is that anomaly that was teleporting me around, did that have something to do with all the disappearing people in the rapture? And this guy's just another random victim of that? That would be cool. Frog? It doesn't matter, guys. It's an animal. Um, I think the ocean of blood being human blood is stupid. <laughs> um, also, like, it shouldn't be moving. There's no wind in space. I swear I'm not trying to be pedantic. I'm just saying that, like, there are a lot of cool things you can do with the initial pitch in the first 15 minutes of this game where you use space's absence of light and absence of wind and air and hope as part of your setting. And I I, I heard the pitch and it was like, You're in, it's the blood of everyone who vanished. But, like, who cares? There's Shut up. You know what I mean, Flair. When I say there's no wind in space, you know what I mean, and you know you're being a pedant and being wrong on purpose. You know what I mean. <laughs> is it waves or is it undulating? It's waves. This is ocean waves. Bro, it was made by two people. Chill. I are you new here? 
Do you know what I do here? Why are you here? I look at things and then I talk about them and I iterate upon them. I understand it was made by two people. Mechanically, I think this is quite good. I, I like the mechanic, even though it's very simple. You wanna see the Iron Lung movie trailer? No. Um, I, I do think the, I do think that the implication that this is all the blood of all the people that disappeared is kind of lame because like, why would there be blood? I, I think it's more fun if you're doing like a space cosmic multiple dimension thing to make it like, in the way that um, Lovecraftian horror is so large at a cosmic scale that it's not about, oh no, what if the thing sees me? It's what if the thing destroys me without even looking at me? Like, what if, what if a ray of, ga like a gamma storm just came across and destroyed civilization and there's nothing you could do about it? Like, that's scary. And I, I like the idea of it just being like something that we don't understand happened and deleted a bunch of planets and stars. So I think it's more interesting if everything's just gone. And the idea that like everything was like skinned and they put its blood on a random moon is silly. Again, I don't understand the term moon in this in this instance, right? Like moons literally just orbit bodies. This is just an asteroid. I guess blood on a moon sounds cooler. I, I think it would be more fun if it were like, we're calling it a blood ocean because it's red and it has iron. But like, if you look at it under a microscope, it's like clearly some animal's blood, but it's not human blood. It's not compatible. I think that would be more interesting because that makes you go, ooh, what is this? And it's weirder. I, I like that. Um, This is fine. This is fine. Again, this was only $8. Like I'm... I'm nitpicking, but I'm nitpicking in a way where I feel like this really feels to me like if I were in the room when they were pitching this, like you could, they could take this a lot further without even changing the gameplay at all. And I think that would be really cool. Um, yeah, this was fine. I'm gonna call the stream there. All right, thanks for sticking around. This did not scare me. Uh, see you next time.